Hey guys, it's Crypto Lamy here, bringing you another installment and play to earn game review. We're focusing today on Eternal Dragons. If you have any questions about the game further to this video, you can always hit me up in my community discord in the video description below. But now back to the video. It is told that at the dawn of time, dragons roam the world and darken the skies. Legend has it that they lived in a strange equilibrium of fiery peace and harmony, in unbreakable bonds with the elder races. Then something horrible happened, but all memory is lost. The dragons disappeared, banished from memory, turned into myth. Only fragments and trails of clues to their history exist across the continents for those who look. The core gameplay of Eternal Dragons will be a multi-chapter trilogy. The first chapter, which is available in the alpha, is called Strife, and it's based on an auto chess game. This is similar to other auto battlers you may have seen before too. This is where players will battle for victory with powerful dragons and minions. And in this gaming mode, you'll require a fine balance of strategy and tactics to overcome your opposition. There are a number of different game modes to overcome and also a city builder and forex strategy planned for the future. As well, the gameplay is simple to understand, but difficult to master. A player engages in each fight by deploying both dragons and minions from a randomly generated roster onto the battlefield using a bank of activity points. After all forces have been deployed, you'll commence battle and conclude without further player involvement. Between each round of combat, this cycle repeats, reducing the health of either you or your opponent until only one player remains. The amount of damage you will do total to the opposition's health is directly related to what level creatures are alive on the battlefield after a round has completed. You can see here that that round I did two damage because I have two level one creatures. During these cycles, you can also upgrade your shop so that you have higher level minions and dragons to choose from. This will allow you to dish out more damage to your opponent each round. Gameplay is intensified by both affinities and roars. Affinities are abilities that either buff or nerf the combat prowess of a player's army. The actual effects can have a variety of triggers, but they won't be enabled until the player has a sufficient number of unique troops with the same affinity in proximity to your other units. You can see a dragon's or minion's affinities in the rostering screen here. The fundamental gameplay is made to accommodate the world of esports and guilds where participants may, for instance, choose their own tournaments and establish their own entry fees, inviting others to compete for prize money. Guilds are said to hit the landscape once the city builder is created in the future. In Eternal Dragons, a dragon's natural power evolution curve is determined by their amount of Eternium invested as well as fight experience. Playing frequently with your dragons and reinvesting your Eternium earnings is one of the easiest way to increase your player's net value. This will in turn increase a dragon's market value as a result. You'll gain advantages from owning a Genesis Eternal Dragon over the long run for all chapters and their entire ecosystem. There is also a breeding program which offers players a way to participate in the value creation in the ecosystem without having to have game specific skills. Right now in the marketplace, you can purchase an Eternal Dragon for around 160 USD. The game's main token is called Eternium, which is said to be the essence of time in its purest form. The magical element imbuing and flowing through everything in Eternal Dragons. This is an SPL token on the Solana blockchain. Eternium is an in-game currency with a changeable supply. The developers are able to regulate the quantity of Eternium as well as modify the costs of various things Eternium is used for in order to maintain a healthy game economy. Players will receive Eternium as rewards for completing quests in the game such as participating in PvE matches and PvP matches. Eternal Dragons comes out of a gaming studio called Trailblazer Games which is a Singapore-based gaming studio. I'll leave a link in the video description below for you, but suffice to say the team is incredibly impressive, having worked on titles such as SimCity 
and Candy Crush. The mission is to design and build games that fairly distribute the value created between community, developers, and investors, creating real-life value through the ownership of assets and a distributed revenue share. The CEO and co-founder Alex was a former senior director at Microsoft as well as a former director of EA Games. The CPO as well as founder Andreas was the former head of product for Candy Crush and a number of other titles. Whilst the CTO Bertrand was former technical director at EA and Playfish. Their core team is around 25 strong with a number of impressive accolades between them all. They're all fully doxxed as well, so no worrying about the integrity of the team either. And that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of Eternal Dragons. Please smash that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my latest content. But other than that, I will see you on the blockchain.